how to build down academy. We are now looking at Lego that question 24. And this is my better question for this year, Lego that question 24. Now, with what we have been given in the white paper statement, A is, is, A is 3.8 T, which is supporting acid, C point zero zero gram of your carbonates per year cube of the steel water. Now, I'm not going to go into the detail on how to prepare these standard solutions of A and B. Now, my aim for today is to give you an expected question for this CA titration, NECO 24. My expected question goes this way. A is a solution containing 0.0699 mole per day cube of HPS report acid, which is set of six acid. B is a solution of H2CO3, H2CO3. Containing 3 grams of the substance in 500 cc of distilled water. Then A, question A, go straight into the borax and titrate 20.0 cc of the fat and 0 cc portion of B using metric orange as indicator. Repeat the experiment to obtain consistent fiber values, starting from readings, and now calculate the average volume of A units. The equation of the dash one is the H2SO4 plus H2CO3 to give you H2SO4 plus H2O plus CO2. The gas is the greatest because this base is a carbonate salt. Then B, from the results and information provided, calculate I, concentration of B more by the I, I, then the total mass of carbon is 12, oxygen is 16, molar volume of gas and STP is then as 22.4 DMG. Now, this is my titration apparatus with me here. I have the little stand holding the bread. This is the bread. Then holding the uh, prepared. This is the funnel which I will use to produce the liquids. This is my white ties to indicate the color change. My conical flag that will contain where the reaction will take place. This is my one bottle that will have the distilled water. Containing it, this is a uh, metal orange indicator. Now, these are my solutions. I've already prepared it. this solution B and this solution A. Now, let's follow the instruction. Follow the instruction. Now, they say prepare the put A into the burets. Now, putting my A into the burets. Mind you, anytime you're putting the A to the burets, take the volume of the base and prepare it away so that. The, the only is split into the solution of B. I add, I will start from zero, zero, calibrate it like this. I have a barrel. If I don't mean, my funnel is bigger than the mark of my red tube. Nevertheless, I have a rag to clean up my spill. So that's why it's necessary to take away the base solution mm -hmm. so that you don't have this kind of mess. Don't mess up the solution when you have not selected a treaty. All right, we go there. Now this is, I'm calibrating it to zero to drug. Oh, exactly. Now I'm using 25 cm fuel of the base. And now this is my base. I'm putting my base into the coil. Like make sure that the base, that the tip of the pipette touches the base of the conical flask so that there won't be any drop of the base leg. You can see, then my indicator's material range is very deep in color. I'm not going to use three drops. I'm using two drops because it's deep in color. All right. Can you see what color is this? Yellow. Can you see? The color change indicates my digital reaction, which is the end point. All right. I am running the acid from the red into the colloidal flask that contains the beans, which is pseudo carbonate. I will be swelling. Keep swelling until the color chips. The essence of swelling is shaking is swelling. And that part is shake so that it doesn't spill. It's to ensure proper mixture, okay? To enhance the neutralization reaction. And as you be fixed, to your subsequent titles, first, second, and third, 
Sometimes you can go first and set up only. Why thought is good so that you can take consistent title violence? 100% results, success. Oh, it's changing. As it's changing, I keep adding drops. Oh, this is orange. This is the end point that's changed. The acid has neutralized this. Wow. See, that's neutralized the base. That changed. Let me take down the reading. Wow. Wow. I got to it for it's seven zero. I set up on zero point zero zero. It's twenty point seven zero. This is my rough. I will turn back to my suspect titles first, second, and third. So I decant this. I rinse. I decant. Then the next is to refill my rest. I like starting from zero zero so that. I will get accurate results. I bring it to zero. Oh, then I perfect. Keep swelling. I keep observing. Precision, accuracy. Is what is required in science. Changing. I be careful so that I don't exceed my rough. Changing. I'm adding drop by drop. It's changing. It's almost there. Almost there. Oh, I am there. Wow. So interesting. So, so interesting. So interesting. Oh, my reading. Wow. 20.40. 20.40. That is very good. Quickly, my second title. Now, if I actually get a coconut reading, I can do away with the thought and work with my coconut. I can do away with the thought and work with my coconut. Is that okay? There's a mark of calibration then. That's it then. You can see in there. Let me calibrate. I will try as much as possible to get either this or very close. Very, very close. Very, very close. Very, very close. Wow. 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 20.3. 20. 20. 20. I think uh, there's no need to do it again. I've gotten my Okada volume. 20.30. I will decide to do it when we talk about it. For All right? It's not compulsory to do it all the three. All right? Except if the table gives you, Neko gives you three. I'm doing three. Now, with this, I'm putting my cocoa down by. All right. I think my work is cancelled. I work with this. They say, calculate the average volume of A used. Calculate the average volume of A use. Now this is nine for calculation. The average point of A used, which is a CMQ, is 20, 20.40 plus 20.30 all over 2. Wow, I have 20.35 CMQ. This is my volume of A I'm going to be using. This is my volume of A I'm going to be using. Now we are done with that. Let's go to question B. Question B says from your results and information provided, calculate A, concentration of B, concentration of B in mole per year cube. Now we're giving the concentration of, uh, we, we, they didn't give us anything about A, but they gave us information about B. They say B is a solution of H2CO3 containing 3 grams of tax. That means 3 grams of this of H2CO3 will dissolve in 500 cm cube of solution. Then how many grams? Let's standardize it. For what is the cube? How many grams will dissolve in 1000 cm cube? 1 cm cube is 1000 cm cube. 1,000 cm cube of solution. So X now will be 3 times 1,000 all over 500, which is 6.00 gram per dm cube. Because 5 here is 1, 5 here is 2. Is that the okay? We have not gotten the question yet because we are asked to find concentration of B equal per day. But we know that concentration would be. Concentration of B 
all the va molar mass h to the co3 let's see molar mass of h to co3 um co3 was dissolved in 500 cm cube of solution of the seed water then how many grams of this that's for the s bar of s to co2 will dissolve in 1000 cm cube of solution we have to Use 1,000 because we worked in one day cube. I want to get it a bit better to work out. Why is it 1,000 cm cube? Because it was 500 cm cube that was here. X will grab it three times 1,000 all over 500, 1,002, which is 6.00 gram per day cube. Mass concentration of B. Now, we actually know the molar concentration of B or the concentration of B in more per day, which is given as 0 0.0569. Now, for us to get the molar mass, would now be equal to concentration of B in gram per day cube all over concentration in more by DLP. I hope we are all familiar with this formula. I hope we are all familiar with the formula. All right? So what we have will now be this is given as 6.00 all over 0 0.0569. All right, which is the concentration of B. Let us trace and see what we get. 0 0.569, that is 6 divided by 0 0.0569. What we have is 105.5 which is approximately, therefore you say, molar mass is approximately 106 gram, half 106 gram per cool. Now our next question is B3, which is relative atomic mass of S. Sometimes they call it value of S. You ask you to find value of S. B, triple I, relative atomic mass of s they call it value of x sometimes what you do here is this compound where s is coming from will be equal to the molar mass we calculated that which is 106 all right then we now have we add all the atomic masses of all the elements here we have two s plus carbon is 12 the atomic mass is given us the equation plus atomic mass of oxygen is 16 but it's three here, yeah, times three, equals to one over six. Now two, X plus 12 plus 48, 16 times three, but eight, which is one over six. We have two X plus 16 equals to one over six. So we have two X equals to one over six minus 16. We have two X equals to 46. Therefore, X now will be 46 over 2, which is what? 23. So our value of X is 23. And if you check element with atomic mass of 23 or mass number of 23, you that very So I hope you are following. Now the last question is value of CO2, the greater than S. If you work from the equation, H2 SO4 plus X2. Now we are solving, all right? BIV is actually, let me sum it clearer. BIV is actually volume of liberating at STB during titration. That's the question. Now we will use the equation to find out the volume. H2 SO4 plus S2 CO3 to give you H2 SO4 plus H2O plus CO2. This is liquid, this is aqueous, this is aqueous, this is aqueous. Now, the CO2, the printer, is coming from this carbonate. You see, this is one mode of this. It's giving you one mode of this. But one mole of gas, any gas at STP, is equal to 22.4 DNQ.
I hope we are following. It means that one mole of H2CO3 liberated 22.4 dm cube of CO2 following. Then how many moles? And, and then zero point, the concentration of 0 0.0569 moles of H2CO3 will liberate 100 dm cube of this in S. Sometimes they will also tell you it's equal to 0 0.0569 times 22.4. All over one. Whatever you got there is the volume of CO2 liberated in one day cube of the solution, one day cube of the base during the temperature. What you have now equals 1.8 dm cube. 1.8 days. We have come to the end of Neko Tatrushan 2024. To be that academic case, we are here for you. And uh, we wish to take more questions as you view the video, like, send it to your friends, and subscribe to read. And um, we wish you all the best. And uh, also, we look forward to give you the short analysis aspect of the NECO exam. All the best. Bye for now.